Okay, as you can see, Shroud of the Avatar. Um, today, I think approximately ooh, six hours ago, I'm trying to convert the time zones in my head, six hours ago, R17 got released. So, uh, I'm doing my usual first look video. Uh, I've uh, made some notes about some of the new features. And uh, hopefully it will all work. So, there's been a character wipe in this, uh, in this release. Uh, because... Uh, specifically the the, uh, the because of the new crafting system and items are now more complex than they used to be basically everything everything you owned in your inventory before is is now invalid so rather than fanny around with it uh, short dreads braids Not sure I'm a big fan. Oh, where's my last point again? Interesting. So it seems like they've not fixed all the inputs yet. Yeah, let's see. Alright, so I can see my pointer if I move off the window. See it there. See if I click on something else. Well, that's going to make it virtually unplayable, isn't it? Nose. Can you see any interaction? Oh, oh grey eyes. Black eyes. Blue eyes. Alright, eyes, hair. Let's see if I can select hair again. No, mouth, jaw, right, so. I'm off jaw, let's go down. Alright, bun. Nice, nice. Ah, the trusty old bob. Bald, ponytail. Short. Well, I think I'll go with short. And uh, while I would like to uh, find around with this a bit, it's going to be kind of difficult, isn't it? Uh, now what we're done. I'm off the bottom now. Interesting. Oh, that might work. Let's see. Uh, nose. Nose width. There we go. Right, so we've got the top one. Okay, right. Alright, we've run out of scrolling. Well, that's annoying. Cheek fullness. Cheek length size. Ooh. Not into it. Not really into it. Alright, let's have enough of creating characters. Create character. 
Okay then. So, after that rather painful experience, <laughs> wasted a good five minutes there, I think, messing around with characters. Let's get into the uh, starting zone. So, uh, the starting zone now is, I think it's the same actual, yes. The Battle of Solid Spirit. Oh, he walks over to you now, though. Sword. Yes, okay. Yes, let's try yes. I've forgotten how to do this, it's been a while. Interesting. Yes. I need a sword. Alright, so this is bugged. Let's stop talking to this bloke and find a sword. So there should be a sword rack. There it is. Oh, I've equipped my sword. Have I equipped my sword? Yes. A torch and a sword. Right. Now, this, I believe, is an example of one of the new features. Which is that uh, when your player dies, you leave a death marker behind. Now, I think that's it. Ghostly death marker. It looks sort of like the right thing. Uh, move close to it and double click it. Interesting. Go on then. Should I take my cord out though? Do you think that would work better? I think it wants me to talk to him. There we go. Now we're attacking him. So it seems like the tutorial's regressed a bit. And let's uh, give up on attacking Dummy and go and find Edvard. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's still dying on about the swords. So. Now, was there a shield lying around? What do you reckon? Oh, now he's standing on top of something. Got a good view. Excellent. Good for him. I'm going to ignore him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the lighting's better there, isn't it? Double click. That's good. Oh, look at look at all the skeletons. The death markers, rather. I'm close to an enemy. Where is he, though? No escape. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's. Let's have a go at you. Let's get rid of this for now. Good effort. Victory. A rusty sword and not much gold. There we go, I think I did all that. That's fine. Let's just have a quick look. Right, so one of the new features, it's not a permanent feature, but I think one of the new features of this release is double experience points. Uh, so normally that skeleton would have been 35 experience, a low level skeleton like that. Ooh, money in the gold, dead body. But the way the system works is I had you know, a load of experience before. I forget what it was. 100, 100 and something thousand points. So now with my character on not very many points at all, I will get double experience points for everything until I hit the level I was at before. So that's, it's not 
permanent double experience points or anything like that. It is just uh, just until I'm back to where I was before the character wipe. All right, I think he's going to leap up. Come on. Yeah, there you. Sneaky. I saw you. Uh, we're much better prepared from that time. That'd be why I didn't see him last time, was it? He was lying down. I'll look at the video later and think, gosh, oh, what a pudding. So I think there's another one around here somewhere. There's usually three. Oh, another corpse loop. Ooh, is that two of them? Oh, that's a corpse loop. More gold, yay! Yeah, let's take all that gold. Oh dear, what's going on? Pay more attention. go. More gold, more rusty swords. I took his gold. Is there some more of them around here? Let's just wait and regenerate the health of it. Oh, there's Edward. Magically teleported. I wonder if he'll have more things to talk about now. I want all your gold. Map of order, order it's added to my inventory. Is it? Map of order, there we go. Ah, so we're getting to a rowboat just under the bridge. So that's a change from past times. There we go. So before, obviously, this uh, this place was connected to Owl's Head via the portal. Now that they've built the uh, the uh, new Overland Novia Overland map, it, it's actually all connected together properly, so to speak. So it takes its place. So now, instead of uh, starting off in um, Braemar like you always used to, you start off in Soul Town. So that was. Uh, Let's see. I'm just going to check off the things off my list that we've talked about. So I don't discuss them with you again. If my tablet would work. Uh, excellent. I'm in New Britannia. I've done that one. More death markers. People arriving, okay. So, who's this bloke? And it looks like all oh, those weird bugs we had. Right, so it's already to the combat, isn't that a bit late? All oh, those nasty bugs we had about not being able to talk to anybody are still around. Alright, so that is the that's the hat for the grand tour for this this release. Let's 
see if we can talk to these people at all. I can't select anybody. Who's this guy? No. Oh, what have I got? Alright, the Sultan Town Crier. Yes, I'm in conversation. So, this is uh, another one of the improvements. In that, uh, before, the lots, the lots were just um, a big list. Now, if I select one, let's... Uh, can we select anything? If anything, anything worked in the interface. Oh, so frustrated. So I only just barely managed to talk to him, and then I couldn't interact. There we go. So if I select Babog the Red and I can set the compass destination. So I haven't talked to him. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore, go away. I can then aim my compass. And I can run towards what whatever that bloke's name was, Balrog the Red. Was that his name? I can run towards his house. And it looks to me like this is his house. Yes, yeah, arrived at destination. So that makes it easier to find people, uh, find people's houses, without having to. Uh, oh, lot access restricted. Yeah, so that's uh, makes it easy to find people. Now let's talk about this uh, lot access restricted because that's another feature of this release, and that you can now set your property to be private or set a, a list of people that are allowed to, allowed to enter allowed to enter your property uh, so obviously that house I think it's this one yeah this house is a private and set to private whereas before all the houses were basically public you could wander in uh, anyone's home and have a look around and, and do whatever you wanted and now you're not allowed to do that so, uh, since we're unable to talk to anyone useful, uh, I suppose, uh, see, I, I want to just head on out, but it would be really handy if I could talk to the banker and get some, get my, uh, get my adventuring gear out of him, you know, my, my uh, backer gear. Let's see if I can uh, locate Ooh, spidery things. If I can, there we go, right. Let's see if I can succeed in talking to the banker. I think it's him. Oh, I've got a bit of blue there. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's skills trainer. Excellent. Well, since I've managed to get that open, I might as well mention one of the new abilities in this release is... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Summon Phoenix. There it is. Uh, so you need 32 focus and some ingredients. Takes two and a half seconds. 50-50 chance more or less I've got to create him. But I mean, I'm a beginner. And uh, you get a phoenix, made of fire, which, you know, is cool. Uh, one, of the, one of the things, oh, sorry, reveal hidden, nice. One of the things it will do is, uh, if you're attacking things, and uh, it dies. Oh, merchant. Nice, but I've not got any money. Yeah, thank you. If, you, if, if it dies, it will come back to life at least one time. Kanye Quest. He 
was pretty cool. Right, so that was the town crier. Question, where was the bank? Oh, uh, yeah, here we are in the tavern. There's usually quests and stuff in the tavern. I'm not going to bother with them today. So he's a merchant. He's the tour guide, definitely, just checking. Merchant tour guide. Where's the bank? Alright. I can't figure it out. Get town guard. I don't know. I'm going to do is leg it along to Arderis. Oh, well. There's one more thing we can look at. Right. So another new thing in this release is um, street signs, which we're looking at. You're still going to have to learn the runes. Oh, I've not learned the runes. But I guess if you uh, get yourself into the game, it'll become second nature to you at some point. So there have been oh, another one there, look. There have been uh, several improvements as far as, you know, navigating around spaces are concerned. Now, I'm going to uh, dash along to Arderis. It should just be down the coast. Uh, there have been more performance improvements in this release. So, it's promised that Arderis will load faster again. Or well, more fast. Is that the word? Faster than before. If that's if that's the right um, the right phrase for it. Let's just see. Now there is actually an event starting in one minute, which I want to get to as part of this video, if I can. Right. So there's the perennial trail. Now, oh no, that's not the way I wanted to go, I don't think. East Perennial Trail, oh, that is the way I wanted to go. Now, one of the things in this release is that the, uh, on the Overland map, the controls for, for camera and everything are now the same as when you're actually in in a town, all that sort of thing. Oh, a death marker there, even on the map. Uh, so you can see, I can control the camera. I can zoom in and out. All the usual, all the usual controls. That's when I'm running around behind my, um, you know, playing normally. Let's see how fast this goes. Because it's always been a bit of a pain getting into our dress. Uh, well, not that much faster. So possibly we'll be cutting this this whole thing somewhat short. We'll see. I spent five minutes fanning around trying to talk to the blooming tour guide. I spent another five minutes trying to figure out how to do characters. You know. It's an early access game. You have to expect these things, I suppose. Um, maybe I should have uh, devoted more time to experimenting with this stuff before I started the video. But you know, it's been it's been pretty reliable game so far. To be fair, for an early access uh, thing, well, that was reasonably quick. So let's trundle in to uh, Ardris. So. Ooh, right, I might have a good vantage point here. Can't really see. So one of the things that's changed in this release is that the two castles 
the one you can see the one on that side and there's one on this side they've been given uh, given big banners so that although they're actually identical uh, models you can now tell which one you're running towards by the color of the banner well that's the plan I can't actually see the banner at the minute but I'm I was told it exists uh, Temple of the Oracle can I see it now? No, lost sight of it. We're still pretty laggy around these parts, aren't we? Now, is someone here a banker? That was a public vendor. That was in the last release. I did mention it. What's he? He's not talking to me. Hard to say. Well, oh, there's an inn. There's an inn here. There's armory. Not sure what this one is. Let's go in and have a quick look. Crafting table of some kind. Who's this dude? Alright, so what I'm going to try and do now. There we go, in keeps talking to me. Is I'm going to type zone. If I get this right. Win field. Right, so I'm heading towards Pax Lair. Pax Lair? Pax Lair. Now this is uh, sort of historic in that it's the first player-owned town on Shroud of the Avatar. Pax, Pax Lair are actually a guild from the old uh, Ultra Online days that, that have hung together all these years. And uh, they have sort of... I, I went to uh, their, their temple for a meeting in a video a while back. Town owned by Winfield. I don't know where he is. But well, I presume this is it. There's nobody else around though. Yeah, what was I saying? So they've they had they sort of took over an existing town somewhat. Oh look, here's a load of people. Let's follow them. Let's see if there's any chat going on. No. Oh, where did my chat window disappear? I just wanted to stay there. Alright, pin. That'll probably be it then, won't it? Instead of complaining about things, stop, you know, be less of a muppet. Good chance. So I'm not sure at the minute. I presume this is all part of the town. Now the event was a tour, which was actually supposed to be uh, starting six minutes ago. So I missed it because I was fanning around with all that other stuff. Uh, but. Uh, Winfield, the mayor of Paxlair, was was giving people a tour around this uh, player-owned town. It's looking pretty spacious. I presume these are all housing lots. I don't know who any of these people are.
I presume they're uh, members of this the guild. So obviously the whole all the servers only went up even if you were, had the dev access, which I don't. All the servers only went up uh, a day ago, I think, perhaps two days, two days ago. Which means that they've not everyone not everyone's had a chance to um, build their. Uh, well, there's a lot. Oh, it's not claimed. Excellent. No one's had a chance to build all their houses yet. So, I suspect this will... Uh, this will all look a lot more uh, town-like the next time. Seems like I did miss the tour. I don't know how many people... I think the limit, the limit for any particular shard is, is 64 players or something. I'm not sure. So it's entirely possible it was all just oversubscribed, and uh, I'm in a different, a different shard to where the actual tour's going on. But having said that, at least you're all getting to see the, uh, see the player in town, which is you know, oh, it's a stage. This is the stage. They're building a stage for uh, theatrical performances. There we go. Look. So you can sit here. You can watch the theatre. Very nice. Who's this bloke? Sophie. It's not a bloke at all for that. So I don't know if the town comes to play around town. I presume it still has shops and stuff, does it? I don't know. Maybe I'm in the wrong place for them. Maybe they're up at the uh, oh, nice lighthouse. And a boat. That's quite pretty, isn't it? That's this here. That's a lot ownership thing. Yeah, so this is really this is the major new content for this release. It's um, of these player and towns. This ooh, ooh. Oh, a lot access restricted. Why are we not allowed in? So they're building the tavern. Um, there is a fairly famous tavern associated with Ultra Online. Oh, nice statue. Yes, yeah, so this, uh, essentially, this is the experiment. There are various other um, guilds and in-game organisations who are lined up to get a player town. It's, it's uh, you know, it's a backer perk for, for some of the more expensive reward levels. And, uh, guards. Town guards. Excellent. What's in here, then? Oh, ladder. Let's see if I can go that. Well, it would be a nice view if it wasn't for the battlements. There we go. So the plan is they're going to build, they're going to make, I think in the end, 20, 20 town templates. And you get to choose the template and then fit in. Uh, fit it to what biome you want so obviously you can have you know you can have a desert town or a uh, 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 uh. I'm going to close that for now uh, so let's get out of the way oh uh, what's this then home merchant right Decorating merchant, right? Buy houses and decorations. Farmer. Crafting merchant, okay. I've still not found my banker. Ooh, who's this dude? Pet merchant, excellent. So I've found the banker, so I can get all my stuff. I'll go back to Ardois after I've finished the video and um, struggle around, or perhaps I'll 
head back to Braemar to uh, sort it all out. I'm going to need to uh, level up, I presume, to do the uh, Grand Tour. It's been a while since I attempted it at level 5, and, and generally it was a run and hope style approach to the, the Grand Tour at that point. Uh, uh, there are a few things I've not talked about yet, but I don't know how to... Uh... So one of the options, let's see... Ooh. Apparently, the big thing is it's now possible to split the music and sound effects volume. Which we wasn't able to do before. Oh, you anti thing. Tone mapping. I'm not using any of that. Click all NPC keyboards. Invert mouse look. Filter profanity. What on earth want to do that? Hide unknown names. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. That's what I wanted to click on. Let's just check. So one of the things in the release is he should now be able to display your um, your your backer pledge level title. I don't know how that works. Um, all right. So, so clearly, I've not turned it on. Guard, guard. I wonder where those other people going. Let's see if someone else has got it turned on. Crafting merchant. Who's this dude? Oh, that's a town crier. Explorer Net 4B. I don't think that's it. Let's see what these people are doing. Right, so the angle brackets are. Oh, I think this is the tour. Winfield, Grand Duke of Pax Leia. Excellent. So, this is the tour I was talking about earlier, which I've strangely found. Alright, so you can see there's a bloke there. Stabby Crano is a benefactor. Uh, Winfield is a Grand Duke. I am um, currently nothing. I don't know how I turn it on. I'm going to have to research. Maybe I'll have it for next time. Let's pin the chat open again. So these people are having a bit of a chat. I will be wrapping up the video there. I think I've rambled on long enough. Um, there are a few other things probably worth mentioning. Um, we we I discussed the uh, crafting events. Uh, and the, the crafting the crafting in general uh, so armor and stuff now now how will now have components um, crafting will have the opportunity to go wrong or or alternatively give you the opportunity to um, add more more fuel to make extra special items and uh, those will reflect in the final the final final finished piece and stuff like that it's not um it, it's not all there yet and i've not really done much crafting myself so i'm probably not the best person to talk about it um uh one thing one thing that will uh will possibly come up as i run around um run around trying to do the grand tour is that the uh, the stags and other animals, rather than just running away from you now, they they will 
attack you back, which should be quite interesting. I'm going to try and do that at some point. Um, another interesting thing is that NPC characters are now capable of sitting down, which will certainly make for some more uh, natural natural composition. Uh, you know, everyone was just standing around with a lot of empty chairs before, and a lot of a lot of these things. And um, there are now distinct book covers in the game, which uh, you know is no use to anyone at the minute because they're all just blank. But ultimately, uh, you will be able to write your own books and also buy books with other people's stories and stuff like that. So it'll be nice to have different covers on. So that's that's basically um, all the stuff I was going to talk about in this release for now. Uh, I will be attempting to do my grand tour again later. I might uh, wait and see if an update and try and create my character again when I can actually control the uh, can actually control the uh, the creation of the uh, character rather than just guessing where the controls are. Um, yeah, so there you go. Shadow the Avatar R17 first look. Headline feature Player and Towns, which we are standing in right now.